Play very fast. We see it there with Andy beating first killer to that ball. So for Rogue right now, they have to make sure that that ball's happening. Pass comes out and Outlast gets the first goal of the series. You speak about some of the defensive issues, and this was a team that had ridden that wave. The ceiling, never mind, it was going to waterfall down, but a touch from Stromboli actually keeps it out in front. First killer could there not get the touch, and a demo leads to a goal from Stromboli. And he punches it into the back of the net, and another 1-0 lead to start game two. Yeah, Wonder needs to get that ball. First killer had 100% faith in the, but can't get it over Alrez. Had a defender flying back, is able to break it up. Here comes the follow. Oh. The, the waterfall does not go in. A second oh. attempt, Kronobi puts it to the top of the shelf. Rogue is able to tie this game up, and a beautiful read by Kronobi off the ball from the bottom, takes it away over a defender and lightly pushes it to the top of the net. Rogue able to find their first goal of the series, and we're all tied up under one minute to go. Can Rogue I'm roll with holy. it? No, oh, J-Pal puts the shot in, and just like that, from Bully up again. Caught him slipping on defense. First killer went up for the extension. He grabbed boost, but with that happening, you have two players on the right side of the and Wonder Bomb is down the field. He does. It's all the way down. The pass is there, but a little too high. And another one too high. Can Wonder get it? He does it just like that tie ball game. Which rogue are we going to get? Apparently, it's where everyone contributes on every goal. First killer, we'll call it a tactical fake because he lets the ball fall back, kept them in this game, but still, we slow it down, Subi. And another challenge won by Stromboli. A follow-up oh. and an open net, and no wonder. He gets it into the back of the net, and Stromboli was not able to get back in time in a tie series as rogue find their first win in overtime. Yeah, that is a high-risk low reward challenge there because at the end of the season it looked like cloud nine of old so cloud nine pittsburgh knights who lackluster all season the infield pass here from stromboli absolute perfection a great pass off the wall from j pow and even better hit forward Alrez sitting at 1 1. His wonder's going to read that off the backbone. Slowed down for Andy. Could not win the individual challenge, but J Pow is there, and Alrez is fighting for boost in the back. Well, that's all happening. J Pow said, I'll take it from here, CB. No problem. Good challenge there from Andy, and look at the patience from J Pow. Once he saw the defender in the air, punches it out. Andy's going to go ahead and challenge that every day. And Wonder begin gets a great demo from First Killer as that ball's gonna bounce on in with no one in front of it. Andy couldn't win the challenge, and Rogue have a great play to get themselves on the board. Yeah, great demo from first killer, but honestly, I think corners, and the one thing that has worked for Rogue are the infield passes. And a great pass off the side of the wall. First killer was ready and waiting, like a center in the paint. Kronobi sets it up and serves it over a defender and first kill up puts it where the defense can't grab it to he's gonna fall into the corner again stromboli somehow staying alive alrez could possibly get it over kenobi he does it's left open and all of a sudden what? stromboli weathered the storm and alrez is able to take it from his own corner the length of the field and he puts it over to leaves an open net open and stromboli take this is a weekend where anything is possible. We've seen storylines that don't live up. They they crumble. There are teams that come out and find ways to execute. In the middle of that sentence, what are we talking about? We're talking about Jay Powell, the read off the side of the wall, and a great shot to start again another game 1-0 up for Trumbull. And again, Rogue finally finding some aggressive, oh, great drama. save, and an even better follow-up from Kronobi. You can see the play developing, and when one's not going to land, you always have to worry about the second, and Kronobi's able to put it in the back of the net. And it all boils down to a... Who does win it over Wonder. And he commits in the middle of the field as J-Pal gets oh. shot up in Stromboli. Taking Rogue off the field in a quick overtime. Watch 52 it. seconds is all it needed. Oh. That 50-50 from Andy. He strategically placed his to see how well Stromboli have played up to Rogue's expectations. Yeah, you don't want to rely on it every match because I don't know if it's sustainable because we see right there the diving saves. Sometimes they work, 
sometimes they don't. And when Kernovi has an open net like this, yeah, he's not going to miss him. Leaves it up for Kernovi, but actually too much power. And Andy will take it away. Over one. Down for a follow-up. Could it be a oh. shot? It could. It will. Alrez makes it 1-1. One -one. I love this follow-up from Andy. He's forcing the defenders to respect him that that double tap might come out, but in flies Alraz, 65 miles. Luckily for Rogue's sake, they haven't had to face that reality as Kronobi with a beautiful pinch off the wall uh -oh. takes it into J-Pow's corner and a follow-up from Rogue takes it to 2-1 with 26 seconds. They just put this one on a silver platter, tied it up on a bow, or with a bow rather, and cannot clear the ball right there. From an RLCS team. Yes, they're sitting at eight, but they're still on the RLCS. They've had that experience. They've played against top caliber teams. We expected a little bit faster from Rogue and a goal from Kronovi to start game six as they easily read this off a defender over two. And you have a player sitting in the front of the box like, hey, I'll take that, no problem. Rogue up 1-0. Much of anything as far as offense goes from Stromboli here in game six. A awkward pinch, first killer, hard shot. Good placement there and way to capitalize on this opportunity. And one of the comments we made last game was about Rose continuing pressure past midfield. The triple commits on the side of the walls this game. A big demo from first killer and a bump from Kronovi actually moved two, moved two defenders out of the box. And they leave a precarious goal and an awkwardly hanging ball. But j -Pow gets enough of a touch and the pass from Alrez does enough. And they finally make this game the lead, I should say, cut back. Yeah, I love the fact that J-Pal leads this, but still, I'm not impressed with Stromboli's offensive performance here. That was their second shot so far, and what an angle from Kernovi out of the side corner. All three committed to the ball on the wall in the blue half. It was a booming hit into the corner, and Kernovi, the make another double commit from Stromboli, leaves it at midfield. First killer could not get a follow-up, and Wonder takes it away. And a great hit and a challenge on the ball from Wonder. I'm not sure how well, he this. got it over the defender, but Alres just did not read it right. And it gets right over both on the line in this matchup. Even more so than just this series alone. When you look at a team like Stromboli, unsigned. Oh, what a double from first killer. He somehow maintains composure all the way through this, gets off the ceiling to get his flip, and gets the shot on target. to chip away at Stromboli's hopes and dreams. That was a phenomenal play from First Killer to lead things open again. Stromboli able to find the back of the net. It was Rogue that scored first in the final three games, but all of a sudden, j Pow says, you know what, individuality is what you want. I'll give you a passing lane to connect with and a 1-1 lead. First killer opportunity here, but good cut there from Alrez. Put pressure on that ball. It disrupts the pass. What oh you, what my you, what God. You, connecting with Kronovi, and Kronovi launches this one out of a barrel. Once again, there's only so much you could do. You have to think it was a 100 miles fence to make it 3-1. J-Pow with a great touch keeps it away. A challenge won by Stromboli up for J-Pow. That could be a shot. It could be a goal. It is tie game 2-2. Two -two. They just keep bringing the fight right back to Rogue. Good pressure there from Alraz to squeeze that ball up in the air. And J-Pow. And a demo for Rogue keeps them with a man advantage in their half. 10 seconds, here comes oh, a shot from Rogue, and that's gonna be the dagger with 10 seconds. Rogue, make it 3-2. Could that spell disaster for Stromboli? That redirect from first killer is just nasty. Maturo out of the play. So it will be Hoxer downfield over Turo, but off the crossbar Ooh. on the effort from Roldiz. Ajax is there to clean up. And E United get off to a great start. Yeah, Hawks are getting a bit of a touch there. Put Turn Turo in an awkward situation. Tries to half flip back. They still have two minutes left. It's only a one goal deficit. Certainly no time to panic. Better late than never as Karma does oh. not get a shot. It's said, roll this, puts it in his own net. Uh, sometimes, you know, you don't need to do it yourself if the other team is willing to help you out. And that's exactly what's going to happen is Roll This comes through and just powers one. Done that plenty this season. Of course, they've also very few losses that they've had. 
A lot of them have oh. come in the closing minute, including this one, perhaps, as Hoxer puts one in the net. Yeah, Hawks are going to be able to clean that one up. Puts it just underneath Karma. Not able to get that touch. 30 seconds ago, Hawks are over towards Ajax to break the Ooh. tie. What a save, but nobody's home. And Hawks are scores another late goal for E United. Yeah, Hawks are going to put one over to Ajax. Turn Turo going to make the hero save, but unfortunately has to throw himself at the ball and goes. Needs one more touch here, and Roll this is there to stuff it out again. Well, he's got a lot of pace Ooh. here. It's loose in front, and Turin Turo will drop it down. And finally, Charlotte's on the board. This is exactly what Charlotte needed. They need a goal of their own. They want to be up in a series. They don't want to play from behind. This is a try. Just floating one up, hoping for a mistake as he takes out Ajax in net. There's Shadow, Ooh. and he puts it past Boxer. Those are the situations we're used to seeing out of Charlotte Phoenix. Get to these points where you get that 2v1 isolation, pass the ball in field, and let Shadow do what he does. His placement is... Charlotte in business, but no. Ajax is there. Sure-handed at the back. Now here's Karma. Duran Turo looking to redirect, Ooh. and he does! Turo up for that one, gets it at the last moment, and just softly touches it down, gets that wheel touch. Beautiful shot. And Roll Diz even got his own corner boost. Karma trying to find Shadow, couldn't get the pass down. Now Roll Diz and Hoxer will try to get downfield. One on one oh. against Turo, and Hoxer scores first for EU. Hoxer's gonna just beat him on speed here. Turo not able to get up quick enough. Goes out to make that challenge the force in this series. Maybe the first Charlotte goal, that of course was an own goal by Roll Diz. Might fit the oh. bill, and what a dunk by Ajax! Oh, that was filthy. Yeah, Ajax gonna pop this one up, take it down, field himself, challenges Karma there, dunks it under, nobody's able to... A couple of seasons ago, about 10 months and two weeks, basically, from now. Roll oh, this shot on, and it net. looked like it was Hoxer getting a piece of shadow in the net, and E United is cruising early. United up 2-0, four minutes left on the clock. Hawks are getting really aggressive. Of all the ones, it looked like they would work best against this squad. If they can't beat the United here, it worries me about them going into these later rounds, giving up a third goal here in the first minute and a half. Hawks are going to find another look at an open net. Boy, if I had a dollar for every time in a must-win game six, Rolled is playing keep away from Shadow. Now Hawkser will throw another one towards the net. Oh. And this one just accidentally finds its way in. They're finding no luck on defense. On the offensive side, it does feel like Karma's going in and trying to make these slip resets every time. Charlotte Phoenix, that it remains only 4-0. Down to 90 seconds left. The United closing in on victory, but Karma will put one in. And this is her first goal of the series if you discount the own goal that Roldis put in earlier. First goal of the series for Karma, and you said it earlier. We're in the promotion tournament last season, and Charlotte lost to them both. Didn't even get a chance at a winning in. Here's Shadow who will put one in. Only his second goal of the series. It, there is a chance at least, but with only 39 seconds left, I mean, we're getting into miracle territory. Swords and Turo could not put that in, and that may spell the end for the Charlotte Phoenix. If that did, this did, Ajax delivers the dagger. That's gonna be the nail in the coffin. That's the final one, rolled is out to Ajax and just booms one in. In the promotion tournament right now, they're all shooting under 20% with Turin Turo sitting at 12 and a half. And Good dunk there from Andy in the box. Good pressure right off the bat from Stromboli. And the Hezzy step just to wait, bait the player forward, and just a beautiful goal to kick things. You said the speed of United. I mean, they came out in Worlds last year and started running through the bracket with how quickly they played. And Karma and crew were not used to that. But finally, some life. Turin Turo is able to tie things up as he gets a good read from Karma off the backboard, and they punch it through to tie this series up 
well, the start of game passing. I mean, just it was individual plays, air carries like Shogun talked about. But since then, it had been relatively quiet from Karma and crew. But as soon as we wrap up play one, play two un un begins to develop. And j Pow can take that off the side, and Andy can punch it in. Yeah, turn Turo a little too low on that, so he seems... A bump from Andy keeps it alive. And a follow-up oh. from Turin Turo with the demo, and a second follow-up is Karma. Finally, finds the back of the net, and she gets involved early and ties this game up at 2-2. Yeah, and just poor play here on defense from Stromboli. Karma getting a... But no one there for the follow-up, and this one's going to go back towards midfield. That was a dangerous hit, and it leads up for Karma, who oh. can get a shot, and she sneaks it through a defender. j Pow could not get it out over Andy, and Shadow takes it away, leaves it up for Karma off the ceiling, and she puts it right where Andy can't grab it to fix, and I'm sure they've had time to do it with an hour between games. And a booming hit to the other side of j Pow had an opportunity, could not get back on defense, but Shadow will be there for the redirect off of the pass from the teammate. This j Pal takes this. it, could not get it out. And it's into the back of the net. Karma will not carry. Interception won by Stromboli. And back to the adjacent corner. Karma oh. with a beautiful read coming off the wall. Takes a pass from Shadow. And this teamwork is what we expected from Charlotte Phoenix. Yeah, the left to right gameplay makes will open game three. j Pow tries to slow it down. Unfortunately, no one's at midfield now. It's a 3-2 in the box, and it's going to be towards the top of the net. Karma punishes Strong Bully for overcommitting at midfield. And you can see Andy is the only one there in a reasonable position, and she's not going to miss that one very often. Finally, and I'm going to continue to say it when you have a fantastic coach behind you like Jimmer, as Charlotte Phoenix does, he's going to create a game plan against all these teams. And Andy forcing this one through. Great dunk in the box. It's as beautiful as that to tie the game up. Shadow will carry. That one's going to roll down. And back to sea level we go. But it's Shadow by himself. He gets over one and he pushes it right over a defender. The ball rolls right under. Oh, and he just swats it over the... And another bump from Turin Terrell as j Pal gets out of the play. Now back in, led forward by Andy. Karma underneath, and a beautiful shot from Turin Terrell to extend the lead to two. Again, Andy just pushing that ball downfield instead of slowing it down. His teammates were right beside him, so... No one back in goal. And everyone is getting involved, and I think that's the key takeaway here. Karma, Shadow, oh, Turin Turo mama. somehow able to stave away. Unfortunately, they will not fly back in time as Alrez will make it 3-2. And finally, a response from Stromboli is with a, as a minute left remains on the clock, and they needed something. But j Pow easily saves that one away. Some familiarity. Before the goal goes in and Shadow gets the lightest of touches, but it does enough. Turin Turo sets him up on the play, a serve and a spike over j Pow. And I was going to say the familiarity where Stromboli needs to start recognizing these patterns and making adjustments on the fly. They have not been able to do that thus far. That's it. A lucky goal in favor of Stromboli. And sometimes it's better to be lucky over skill. That one kisses the ceiling and finds the back of the net. And just like that, I'm so aware that a miss could possibly end your life here in overtime. This one off the back wall, and he's up. That's Not it. there in time, and Shadow keeps the hope alive for Charlotte Phoenix. We will see you next Rival Series Stromboli. Thank you so much for playing, but it is Charlotte Phoenix to take this series. being played over here as Rogue are going to have to try and make the most of their opportunities as and when they get them. It's not a great clear from Wanda. It's off the backboard immediately. Awkward for Kronovi and he can't do a thing about that. E United starting off hot. Great pressure by E United already. That's a fantastic pass from Ajax. Like I said, he's giving Kronovi a massive headache there. He couldn't really see. Ends up being called off and Ajax loads of time on the ball. Way too much here. Hoxer will follow up. Rogue are all over the place defensively and they've let another one slip.
This is really good play by Ajax and by the entire United squad though. Um, you see three players there, perfectly coordinated, all taking turns. Almost could have turned that into his own net. A lot of pressure right now for Rogue. Off the backboard, Wonder very far back. And that's going to be ricocheting off a player into the net. Rogue rewarded for all their offensive moves. Finally, the United have felt that pressure to a degree. First killer had a great save there. As he had to dive across the box and get in the way of two United players. Here come United with a great passing play. What a finish! What a attack! 21 seconds and they have tied things up. It just needed one chance. And believe you me, we have only seen one turn up as soon as he needed it. Any further than that, he'd have to play this with zero boost, but he'll be thankful for the 100. Over to Wanda! And Rogue take game number two! And we have a series. What a pass by First Killer. There was the delay on his flip there. He had the defense wondering what he was going to do, and then he had one. A rogue are going to be the ones to start off overtime in offense. First Killer quick up to the ball. That's into the middle and uncontested for Wonder. He shoots low, and it's in. Rogue take two overtimes in a row. They lead in the series. And keep an eye on First Killer throughout this play. You see Roll is. You know what he wants. And guess what? He's unable to do it. Of course, first killer and Hawkster did get those nominations for player of the day after their first games they played. Oh, that's a great shot by Hawkster. Roldis is going to put it in. How about that? For a volley at the near post. Not much of an angle to work with there. And even some decent goalkeeping. You have to say, the goal was majority covered. to get many chances, or usually you're not going to get many chances in the time that is remaining. So let's see what Rogue have got planned. Well, it's going to be some defense, first of all, and Hawkster. Not going to let them come out on top. That is 2-0, just like game one. He united out in front. And Rold is, yet again, just a major part of the creation of the play. Double United. Just trying to keep going from where they were in game four. But here is Rogue. Wonder unchallenged. Down off the crossbar. 1-0 for Rogue. And you get the feeling that they needed the first goal more than the United did. How about that for placement from Wonder? Hoxter was back and he had a lot of the goal covered. Flip what I said earlier on about those edge rules and about the long clears because when you're a team that has to start moving forward, we've got first killer double tap <laughs> from him. And he's starting to feel it yet again. And there is the passing in the midfield that's been missing from Rogue's game. That little setup touch by Wonder. And nobody could find the bump. He is able to take on two. That's huge by Wonder in defense. Kronovi completely left him alone there. And now Wonder takes the ball to the other side of the field. And he's put it in the other end as well. He's been involved in all three goals. He's saved the team at the defensive end as well. But look at that off the ball by first. Not for the first time this game. But for a team that can no longer afford to rely on their backboard, suddenly the long clears and air dribbles become so big. And speaking of big, that lead that Rogue have got might be insurmountable. And this is where the play style that E United tend to rely on doesn't work out. In four, now we need to see something different. We need to see something more aggressive from E United. We just haven't seen it yet today. But they're not playing the reactive style. They just don't look anywhere near as good. And meanwhile, Rogue, look at the movement off the ball. Where were these options earlier in the series? Because right now, they are providing each other with so many chances to effectively pass the ball. They have been incredible in this game, and they are hurtling their way towards series point as they're going to put another <laughs> one in. Kronovi refuses to be forgotten. Oh, well, then. I guess this game is just going to be rogues with two minutes to go. And this is devastating. This is the worst possible game by them all. Now, it hasn't developed exactly the same in game six so far, but this is a huge opportunity. Kronovi on target. 1-0. And rogue when they're given this much space and time to play with, have been clinical when it matters most. A rare sight in this series as E United. Come all the way back with some, and somebody has to get to the net, but nobody ultimately does need to because here comes Ooh. Charlotte, and this time Hoxer does not make a save that he made twice against Charlotte earlier. You know, I... I wasn't sold on Turo and Turo's performance in the first series that we casted with them, but the 
overwhelming sentiment seemed to be that they would struggle mightily, but one thing you need to remember, oh, oh Ajax, oh. double tap, bang, bang. What a shot. Hawks are going to put it out. Ajax going to go ahead, pass it to himself. Gets the twist around for that ridiculous angle. Ajax is up ahead of Turantura. Roll this beat Shadow to the punch, but Shadow still gets a piece. Hawks are rolling one, oh. and it's not saved. Hawks are finally rolls one through after nearly 16 minutes. Game one finally comes to a close. Which the list consists of Roll This, Shadow, and Karma in that opening game. That game had to feel especially like an eternity. Oh. As Ajax will get another. He did this in game one to tie it, and now he's done it again very early on. Same situation, opposite. Ajax, downfield, and oh. that's gonna find its way too. I wonder if Roldis had any part in this. Did he get in Turo's way? I'm not sure, I believe he did. He jumps in, he does make contact. It looked like he- You've Gotta be wondering, what is it gonna take to beat the defense of E United? They have tried to get clever, it hasn't worked. This time they do, right down the middle past Ajax. Said, Karma's got a score for these rounds that they win. Karma finally puts one up on the board, gets a nice little flick over Ajax. Predictable and allowing E United to pick off all these midfield passes. Duranturo gets like, knocked whoa. out of the play, and Hoxer will score. And that's probably sealing the deal there, unless we get two crazy kickoff goals. And, and I agree with you. What they're doing in the in the midfield is they're cutting off those passing lanes, which is really for Charlotte Phoenix. Too often in the promo tournament, it's normally a team with a high-powered offense, not the stifling defense that we're seeing. Ooh. Finally, Turanturo breaks through, though, as he scores his second double of the series. Turanturo being the guy that's kind of getting it done for Charlotte right now. We talk so much about Shadow. We talk a lot about these two goals from Turo off the backboard, which Turo goes for another. That one's going to be off and wide. Ajax to roll this oh, to home. the net. Hawks are going to finish it off and steal it away. He takes it for himself. And so again, roll this held scoreless in this series, but he'll get credit for the shot officially. Roll this trying to delay to Turo trying to chase down Hawks there. Oh. This is going to float across the goal line oh. and it will roll in. Turin Turo, what is this, about 10 miles an hour on the way in? 11. 11. What a nice eyeballs there. Good good call on that one, Stax. 11 miles per hour. It'll be Ajax here with 90 seconds left. Looking to Ooh. tie things up, and he does his fourth goal of the series. And yeah, we talked about how much Hoxer was doing and how he's been everywhere. He's been there defensively. He was the man in their in the series when they played earlier today. Hoxer will try to set it one more time, but nobody's there. They're going to wait for a mistake. None comes here. Karma looking to finish it Whoa. off with a double, and she does with one and second to go. One second left. Karma going to intercept this one. Self pass off the back wall and down. Just barely missing that. Duranturo and Shadow combine to get this ball downfield. It is trouble. Shadow's going to roll it through. No, Duranturo will get credit. I don't think Shadow touched it. I'm not sure that I don't believe Shadow touched it. I don't believe Duranturo touched it. I think it actually no. comes off a defender and some bumps here. Ooh. Yeah, they're actually going to bump him out of the way and in that. The way this series is gone, if, if you're E United at this point, are, are you going, oh no, here we go again? Because here comes Turanturo, oh. he's going to add another, it's his fifth. It's not a, oh no, here we go again, it's oh no, here comes Turanturo again. Turanturo is a highlight reel right now, it seems like a battle between them. Avoid turning the ball over too badly, and now Karma will pop one up here. Got Ajax and roll this up, and oh. Turanturo on the other side still forces it through. Yeah, Karma gonna get this one beautifully over the top of Ajax there and down. Turin Turo gonna win that battle, flipping to the last there. Hawkser with another save. These last minute just reaction, just pure. Oh, oh no, that's touchdown! Roll this is reaction time here to dead stop and turn to put this one in. Turo with a terrible touch. 
tries to get the read, but just barely touches it. In the focal point of most of what Charlotte has done in this series. But there's a miss that's going to be costly. Ajax back on the board. And this is worrisome for me, just knowing that Charlotte hasn't played well from behind throughout the day. Plain side flip by Karma. That's going to be costly. Shadow using all the boost he's got. Turo there as well. Karma midfield. Anderson. Turo Turo ties. Turo being the offensive force that they need has a touch. Gets down, recovers, gets off the back wall to put this one away from the defenders. Turo Turo looking for Ajax. Could not get him. Karma beaten by Hoxer. Rolled is to end it all. Oh. He does. He united. Breaks the hearts of the Queen City once again. Charlotte with the huge missed opportunity there. Karma unfortunately getting beat going in for that.